Welcome back to Space of Grace Today. Your sister in the challenges, possibilities, and victories on this journey called life. Our hope is that you will find wholesome morsels that will whet your appetite and leave you thirsting for more of God. Timing is everything. Life's journey unfolds into a path of uncomfortable circumstances. It may show up in the form of financial struggles, death of a loved one, loss of a job, marital struggles, child-adolescent issues, a health-related matter, or even some other pressing need. We take a peek into the lives of two ordinary people facing some of life's challenging situations. Challenging situation number one, loss and hardship. The book of Ruth recalls the story of a young woman who had lost her husband and found herself in a strange land that was ravished by a famine. The overwhelming grief could have swallowed her up because she was isolated from her family. However, in the midst of this grave loss, she pushed past her pain to support the home that she shared with her mother-in-law, Naomi. Her determination and positive attitude resulted in God blessing her with a brand new husband. Friends, what is it that keeps a person's head above water when their emotional ship should be sinking? Could it be perspective? Maybe it's an attitude adjustment. Or is it just a willingness to overcome the chaos? I would dare to say that a foundation anchored in God is vital to making the best out of a bad situation. Challenging situation number two, waiting on God. In our culture today, no one likes waiting. Fast has become the new norm. We want the results and we want it now. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, Hannah had been childless for years. Could you imagine the pain and the suffering this young wife experienced because of her fruitlessness? The silence, the waiting, and yes, the disappointment piercing her soul every single day. In the midst of her suffering and desperation, she ventured outside of herself to the God of the universe for help with her impossible situation. She was persistent in crying out to the Lord, resounding her heartfelt prayers in heaven's air. In the process of time, Hannah was blessed with a son by the name of Samuel. God uses time as the regulator to fulfill his purpose and waiting as a part of the spiritual process of our maturity. It is God that gives us the grace we need to rise up above the mess. Our Father calls them light afflictions. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 By the power of His Holy Spirit today, He empowers us to keep the faith, to keep getting back up every time we fail, every time we get knocked down, to keep doing everything that we need to do even when times are hard, even when we do not see the results that we are seeking. Dear friends, know today that every period of waiting, every struggle, every pain, every setback experience, God has already factored it in to his purpose for your life. Today's Reflections, Isaiah 43, and two, it reads, When you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, 
you will not drown. When you walk through the fires of oppression, you will not be burnt up. The flames will not consume you. This is what our God is saying to us today. Dear friends, the present struggles of this life can in no way compare to the joy we will experience when we see our Lord face to face. Your sister in the journey until next time saying, be encouraged. This is your inspiration on the way.